How's it going today? Good. Carrie Lewis helps families fleeing abuse, including women who have left homes they shared with police officers. And those are always the cases that are um, the most frightening for our staff. Kelly Donovan knows those concerns well. The now former constable left an abusive relationship with a police officer. She now researches police culture and supports whistleblowers. You'll hear that the woman might have said to her partner, like, stop doing this or I'm going to call the police, and they'll say, I am the police. According to data compiled by CBC News, one in three officer suspensions in Ontario since 2013 concerned allegations of gender-based violence. That includes domestic abuse, sexual assault, and harassment that occurred both on and off duty. This political science professor says the culture of policing is part of the problem. Because fellow officers are unlikely to report them because they want to respect that culture of policing and that culture of we protect one another, which creates what we call this blue wall of silence. This former police chief says he's disheartened by the data, but he says officers are human. Well, those types of uh, allegations and crimes have very significant impacts on a lot of people and, and badly impact victims. And keeping in mind that these are, these are events that occur in the officer's private life. Our investigation found that about a third of the officers convicted of crimes involving gender-based violence went back to work as officers. There's no rule against this unless an officer is sentenced to jail. Carrie Lewis calls that troubling. They should be held to a much higher standard than, than anyone else because they hold such power. Like the police, Lewis says her employees are responsible for protecting vulnerable people. But she says workers here would not be allowed back on the job after those kinds of convictions. Julie Ireton, CBC News, Ottawa.